today is January the 29th and we will be having the tough shed installers be here on March the 14th so I don't know how many days that is but I will pop it up here and I'm just going to be bringing you along for the prep work that we are doing to get the site ready for the shed. Alright John, tell us a little bit about how you broke up all of this concrete in this giant pile behind you. Alright, so if you want to break up concrete with no power tools, a uh, three pound mallet, steel headed mallet, a uh, wrecking bar, 36 inch, and you can go with shorter, but this is a lot easier on your back. You got an eight pound sledgehammer. And this is just a uh, chunk of two by six. So if you can, what you want to do is get some space between the concrete and the dirt so that the concrete, so the dirt doesn't absorb all the impact of the sledgehammer. And to do that, you can drive your, your uh, wrecking bar up underneath your concrete piece and then lean it back against the two by uh, six. So when you push that down, it'll lift the concrete up a little bit and then you just shove your mallet up underneath to help hold the concrete up. Now this is a little bitty piece, but imagine I was doing this with large chunks of the concrete slab at a time. So then, once you have it up, when you swing a sledgehammer, you want to start by knowing where it is, right? And then you're going to pick it up you have one hand all the way at the top and one hand at the bottom. And as you get ready to swing it, when you get up here, both of your hands collapse together and you create a lot of speed, uh, which increases the force. So you want to hit somewhere six to 12 inches away from the edge in order to create a nice good crack. So if you come over here and get uh, a close up shot of this one, you can see this is usually what you're going to end up with as a crack going along your concrete. So once you get a crack going, then you want to take your bar. Now this is angled a little bit at the tip. So you just want to get the teeth, you know, somewhere right on the crack. You want to lean it forward just a little bit. And then you're going to hit, don't hit out here towards the tines, hit right towards the, the shaft. And what that's going to do is widen that crack. And after you get it down in a little bit, then you move it back. Reposition it, hit it a couple of times and move it back. And see, that's how you can separate your concrete into smaller pieces so that you can actually carry them. Now, just imagine doing that 150, 200 more times and you could pretty easily break through all this concrete eventually. You don't have to spend any money on a jackhammer that you're never gonna use again.
I, by the head of the hammer. <laughs> okay. I guess. Okay. No, it's not. All right, day one in the books. We have had one injury. But luckily, John just hurt his hand and it is not broken. So we've gotten about a third of the slab broken up. Unfortunately, we found that as we got over here to the far end, we started over here, moved over here. This is where it was the thickest, which had we known we could have started over here. But this last corner was the most difficult to break up so we've left a bit of it for tomorrow this is about two hours worth of work and here is a pile of the broken up concrete we still have two-thirds to go but I anticipate the rest of it's gonna be pretty easy to break up because hopefully it's not nearly as thick and this is also where some of the biggest cracks were already so that's gonna help with breaking up the remaining slab and then good morning everyone this is day two of breaking up the concrete slab aka 42 days until the tough shed build so we're just going to be continuing what we did yesterday breaking up the slab trying to get as much out as possible uh, we're both a bit sore from yesterday but this is not something that has to be done today thankfully my camera lens is a little bit dirty uh, we managed to get everything except for this last bit of concrete right here in the middle that will be really easy to finish up next weekend so I just finished my portion by raking up some of the loose stones and pebbles a lot of this broke up into sand and pretty fine fine rocks as you can see so any of this that we keep here is saving us money from having to buy gravel to fill this up when we level it so 
just raking everything down into that big hole there at the end, which is where the deepest part of and uh, the concrete that was the hardest to break up was. So, yeah, 42 days until the tough shed builds. So I will see you next Friday or Saturday, depending on the weather. It worked out really well today. Um, yesterday when we started at 9.30, it was 30 degrees. Today when we started at 9, it was 47 degrees. So quite a big difference in pretty typical Mississippi winter. Um, so it's been a lot, a lot more uh, pleasant out here today. All right, we'll see you next time.